And I, I, I just saw that... Um, Hold on, we have Daniel, who didn't have time for the Dev Clash, fun posting in the chat. Yes, well, Something is not adding troll up Troll all there. Something just ain't adding up. I'm curious how Moscow is going to come back from this. They took a bit of a beating. They took a bit of a hell of a beating. They kept four of their five subjects. Yes. Uh, the thing was, it didn't actually lose too much territory, no. and they did gain some very nice land off Novgorod. No, I, I, it wouldn't surprise me if they were kind of dev... Still plus on development. I would count that as a plus for Muscovy. That should have been an early strike to kill them, but it was not. Weaken them, perhaps. They're still in but... this game, and with Kazan getting bogged down in Rebels, if I was Muscovy, I would be... I'd be eyeing up the situation here. Yes. He doesn't have his army back. He's struggling for manpower. His subjects are getting a bit... Uh, yeah, that's probably because he's not so much of an army. Yeah, so he, okay. should, he should focus on some consolidation here. Maybe... Oh, oh. There are, there's support for his subjects. By Tver of all nations, who would have thought? Mm -hmm. yeah, Moscovy was supporting rebels in Kazan, says someone more observant than I. Oh, really? No, no I just see improved, uh, improving relations there, yeah, but uh, maybe I, I could be very wrong. Wouldn't surprise me if I was very wrong, but... Mm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, well, let's see what's that. going on down in Ottoman theater. He's taken a little piece of Felicia, just the one. He's working his way into Serbia as well. <laughs> he, uh, Venice is not letting go of Kosovo. Yes. The gold mine, well, I mean, the gold's not even flowing here. It's just being devastated. But, yes, well, uh, to each their own, right? Well, okay, let's return back to see how Nutso Man's doing because he was fighting mm. the good fight. Yeah, but I think his steam has ran out by this yeah, point. Yeah, basically, with the I think. Involvement um, of the Castilians. <coughs> it's sort of like if no one's watching, he start, starts performing poorly. Uh, he, he looks like he was forced to retreat over to Milan. Much nicer place to be, to be honest, but. Uh, Milano. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. No. Mm, we're going to have some. Pr I mean, without a strong Brandenburg to the north, Austria is going a bit unchecked here, especially well, if he's allied with Hungary. Not the Ottoman. Allied with Bohemia. Everybody's just playing to Starnan's tune, I think. And uh, to be honest, would, would, what would you do? Uh, well, I mean, if I was Venice, I would think I would have lost a lot more than my, uh, my island. Yeah. Kazan make golden horn, someone thinks, yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing for Kazan to go to, towards, honestly. He might even go for the gold rush achievement here. But yes, if he can reform the golden horde, it has a lot of demands on it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with our new provincial highlighting, you can even see what you're going to need for it. Let's, let's get a good look at that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's what he's needing. All right. If he wants to uh, reform I saw a chat net message there, actually. Oh, I missed it. Never mind. Probably not important anyway. Uh, if, if it was really important, we would have remembered it. Am I allowed to join as observer? Uh, no. Probably. Please don't. No. We don't want to risk a crash. Just no. Oh, wait. Who's asking that? Groogie. No! Watch the stream, mate. You got your participation medal. Now it's time to sit with the audience. Mm -hmm. Pol uh, Pol Pol Papal States is at war. Oh. Ooh, well, he's taking over some of the best land in Italy right here. Yes. Luca, of course. He's, 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 he's bringing the light of Jesus. Mm -hmm. It could be that uh, the player here is Luca, trying to go for Luca. Just just saying. Can we check to see if the human electors are voting for Austria on that side? Uh, we haven't had a good look at the HRE politics here, but it, he doesn't look like the most popular emperor I've ever seen. But he's got Bohemia as God, as Bohemia is with him. Yeah, but if Bohemia he switched vote... To, to Saxony. Saxony, that would be the end of imperial power here. And then Bohemia could make some incredible plays. And Friedrich Friedreis von Habsburg is 40. He's he's getting old. Yes. I think Bohemia well, so would have a lot to gain here from switching imperial allegiances. He would also probably earn 100% um, Starnand. Yeah, and but Starnan has an alliance. He would have to break that alliance, and then yeah. Bohemia has five years to get ready. Paros Interactive, what's Aragon done in this game? Well, <coughs> just try to ask what haven't they done. They've and drilled the quite an army there. <laughs> the answer is everything. Yeah, it looks like he's just drilling. He's, he's looking to play the long game, it seems. Drilling away, building that professionalism. Again, no real friend. Allied with Morocco. I don't oh. think that will see him against France, but it could help against Castile. I don't think France is going to go and fight Aragon. The best thing in my humble but sagely advice here, is for France to ally Aragon against the rest of Iberia. Well, we'll see. I mean, difficult when, you know, he's already allied with Castile, but then he he will grow the Iberian power and always stay ahead of it. Yes. Currently, he's allied with Castile, who packs a real punch early game, especially he starts 
people like to go on about the French Elan, which is 20% morale. However, Castile's morale, they get from the very start. 15. France is going to have to work up to get that. Mm -hmm. People are wondering, can we see the player map mode? We certainly can. There we go. I wonder if it's shrunk more than it's grown by now. Bratton just ate perm. Yes. Bratton's got cracking perm. Wait till, mm. you, wait till see you see. <laughs> I see even even <laughs> Bob him there. So does that mean he sub? Yes, he subjugated the perm. Yes, he's got an interesting approach. Oh, but, well, uh, so look forward to seeing the perm leap. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah. the Kaiser is making some interesting choices when it comes to his borders. Yes, we'll see what his game mm -hmm. is. He's playing the long game. Yeah. Our laser expanding away. Uh, he is going south. Yes. He's going well south. I mean, this isn't the best of lands. I mean, it's giving him a net amount of nothing. But, but it no, is still it's land. It's nothing. Yes, <laughs> no one can take it. No one can take that nothing uh, away from he him. He did not conquer Fazan. Actually, Fazan was subjugated in the name oh, no. of Tunis. Sure, I was not paying attention there. I just saw the stripes. It must have been Tunisia. Yeah, okay, they didn't ally so or anything. So just two wars at the moment. Miles, SS, City, they're probably still fighting Serbia. Yeah, still fighting the Serbs. That's a fight that doesn't end fast. The Kaiser... He's fighting I, someone. Yeah, I think he just wanted an early peace with uh, Kandar earlier on. Yes, yeah, so rather than says, waiting out Crimea. And new Cr drinking game. Every time Kaiser Yuan goes to war, take a drink. Mm. Some cracking iced tea. QQ farming Persia? Mm, maybe. Uh, okay, someone's saying, is um, Zeke gone colonial? Has he headed south round? Now, I want to get a quick catch up on Karakiyunlu first, because they have been expanding outside of some really glorious land here. Yes. Baghdad in 1950 voted the best place to grow up. Not so much now. No, not so much in 1456. No. Uh, nonetheless, he's going in a Persian direction, and I would not hold it against him if he wanted to form mighty Persia. Yes, but the, the question of the East. The question was, what's Portugal doing? Well, not much is the initial answer. Uh, they've decided to ally Yolof. That's uh, uh, Usually seen... I would kill Yolof. Yeah, I, I would want that coastline. Mm -hmm. it's, it's got a, uh, it's got the Sengal estuary. Stephen Sengal. Uh, but no, he's, of course, he's colonizing. He is Portugal, taking over the Arguin Island. But from there, where? I would have probably, I would, see, usually when I play Portugal, I actually pick off um, Cape Verde first. Yes. So That's the cutest choice to go for Arguin. Perhaps they did not have the range. I mean, this island's a bit closer. Not much, not, though. Not sure. Does he? I know you have no colonists to send, but we should be able to get a look at his... Yeah, he could be taking it. Uh, I don't know why he's not. It's a better province all round. But... Far, far less angry natives, well. And Kaiser Johan is at peace. Colour me shocked. Yes. Could Portugal diplo vassalise Jolof? That's an mm, interesting no one. No chance. The... I don't think he can because of the whole religion thing. Yeah, uh, they, would, they wouldn't be up for that. Also, Jolof isn't that weak. Uh, what, what are we looking at? 16, 21, 20. Oh, blue, 23, blue, blue flames already. Oh my, what's going on? Aragon, a war with Castile, England, France. Oh, France. He should have allied with Burgundy, Aragon. That would have changed the calculus, not so. Yep. Mm, they were too passive, was Aragon, as they yeah. saw this unite around them. Morocco joined in, but well, perhaps won't have much to gain from well, this. Well, but the thing is, can he get over? The Straits, sir. No, he well, he would have to take this fort and then not. Well, no, blocked. that's um, that's Portuguese. So, will Portugal uh, give him access, or does he get access through Portugal? Uh, that's a good question. We can check though. He does not have access through Portugal. Okay. Portugal probably won't give him access, and also the Castilian ships will be there to block him. Now, I I question Trin's uh, decision here. He, no doubt, uh, Spain uh, Castile will want this land. Yes, no doubt. Burgundy so, truce break now, says someone. Mm. <laughs> yes, because no, co cause coalitions are not a danger here. Well, they're the in thing, right? Yes. Is France in danger one? I mean, that's a pretty reddish looking Europe. Yeah, but it's only really Burgundy that's yeah, that angry. Okay, but it's like 40 to 20 around the HRE. He better play it safe here. Never trust a cat, goes Daniel. No. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Help now, Aragon. I, I have heard a fair few people saying I would never trust the cats, and I'm not saying that some of those people are now allying and fighting with the cats. I'm just saying it's possible. Yes, well, I believe the quote I got from Johan was, I trust cats as far as the French armies. <laughs> oh, he did it. He, he took Kosovo. Well done, Venice. Now, what are you going to do with it? Now that you've got it. How did he even get it? That's, that's what I wonder. Oh, well, it was next to one of his cores. But, I told uh, Aragon to his face that the, that this this would happen before the game. So, poor boss. So, but yes, it... 
Uh, that is the very same bus you see on the I think about the Vice of Practice exalting the Earth, releasing Naples and playing as them. Yeah, that's actually probably quite a good move there. <laughs> Basically, take all the Aragonese development away. Uh, he could even release and play as Sicily. Yes. I hear that uh, Syracuse is an important site. So Really? Brave words from the op -mans. Come now, cats. Denmark generously sends feudalism to Kazan. Oh. So could it be, could it be? Here we go, they're sharing knowledge with Kazan. So friendship between Denmark and Kazan is a real thing. It's so, a thing, apparently. So Kazan, as you may well know, does not have uh, feudalism at the start of the game. We look at, well, let's take one of his pro. Oh, Kaiser Johan's gone back to war, so everyone take a drink. Just, just an AI war right now. Oh, we'll grab our. <laughs> so, no feudalism. That, that means his tech is 50% more expensive. Uh, however, knowledge sh uh, sharing has just been done, so feudalism is growing in the capital area for Kazan uh, at quite a rate, courtesy of Denmark. Now, this is not without its drawbacks. Kazan are having to send that money back to them in diplomatic expenses. It's 10% of what they make, but uh, probably very worthwhile. So, we're looking at a long-standing Kazani... Uh, Danish friendship. Well, definitely. Denmark has got very little to fear from Kazan. Yes. A lot to gain from a weakened Muscovy, especially yes. when they're stepping in, taking Lodoa, Neva. Never take Neva. Mm. Is Chris trying to die for overhydration? Someone asks. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have a look at that war. He's going gunning down Karaman. Yes, he's getting to Karaman. Ramazan and Karaman. I don't know why Ramazan was the target here, but who will ever know? Kaiser Johan works in mysterious ways. Yeah, but he does work. Oh. Yes, he definitely works, but he's now 15 years in, his promise. Yeah, we, oh. well, he gets another two years, I think. No, 40, two. 40, 40, carry the two. Yes. He gets a couple more years before he has to impress us. Sweden is getting real mad. Yes, Sweden. Can I just give you the Scottish solution to this? Freedom! Oh. Ben, yes. Chiseled from granite, Karsten, what's he going to do? I mean, they both ate from Novgorod. It's not a case of just one uh, benefited here. Now, some people are wondering what the Ottoman coalition map is looking like. Oh, these are the Ottomans. Uh, yes. they, don't, they don't know the meaning of the word. Oh, Genoa. Also, there's lots of players here. Oh, yeah, Genoa joined a coalition. And Rhodes. Uh, yeah, so the Knights and uh, Genoa think they can contain the Ottomans. Well, that's, um, They're good. probably waiting for the players to do the same. But yeah, so once you get happy. Hungary on board and Austria, that should be fine. Yeah. But... Hungary, the only player ally for the Ottomans. Hungary allied with Ottomans and Austrians. I fear that... I mean, Hungary just let this opportunity slip by. Yeah, and because that's, not... if he's going to ally with Ottomans and Austria, his natural expansion is into Poland. Mm -hmm. But he didn't take it. And this, this puts him massively at the mercy of his two stronger allies. Sweden is the worst part of Denmark, says Jens. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's Danish. Uh, look at that. So plenty of player war going on here, but I don't think it's any surprise to anybody what's happening in Aragon. Yes, and all the land being given to Castile. I uh, can't. cannot agree with the French approach here. They are strengthening someone that's going to be a big thorn in their side later on, unless there's some kind of long-standing agreement. someone says. New Pope. Uh, what, what's wrong with the old Pope? I don't know. Oh. Austria controls I the think, Pope. Oh. I think uh, the yeah, Star Man was just wanting to remind me that he now has a Pope of his own. Yep. He, funny that. You get reminded about things by people that really want you to know. Yes. So I think Star Nine is going to make good use of that minus 20% aggressive expansion that you get from being the papal controller. He already took a bunch of Swiss land, but... Yeah, outside oh, I think he untook it. Oh, no, he only took one uh, province. I, he got a couple here. He says he got Castle Habsburg back. Mm, and he's keeping Sung Gao there, but, I mean, what, what is he doing with this? What, Star Nine is a religion of peace, because of chap. Because he's got a couple of uh, mission trees that he's kind of locked off from. The decline of Hungary requires him to be stronger than Hungary. I tell you, he's getting there, though. Uh, and that will give him the opportunity to uh, force a personal union on him. And then he'd be able to make his way down all the way to Italian ambition. Then again, securing electors will make him go down the controlling Bohemia route. So I'm not sure if Bohemia is just going to let that happen. Mm. It could happen, but I'm not seeing well, it. Yeah, what about building his force? What would expand Austria get him? Uh, 
well, here we go. So looking at the expand to force limit, if he reaches 100% of his force limit, which is quite a lot, <coughs> uh, he'll get extra morale and maintenance. He's probably going to. But then expand Austria's next mission. What will that get him? What yeah, does he so, need to? So here he'd have to what? He'd have to grow his development by at least 50. So it tracks your development at the start, and it says if you've grown by 50, then you succeed at this. And it actually enhances your capital there permanently. Whilst, uh, oh, for 25 years. Well, you get the production and yeah. uh, tax and manpower, and then get uh, an effect on your whole capital area, and then you, you work down these. The generic missions that we have, uh, all nations have these in the, in the center of their mission trees. When inspecting Aragon, there's a green beaker with a red dash mark. What does that mean? When inspecting Aragon, do 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 do. Oh, that would be the. Um, uh, it's, it's that's a here, tech but it's, thing. It's it's gone now. Let's see if we can catch somebody it's, it's, else that it's, has but it. But it is the innovative, isn't it? Yeah. So it's innovativeness, hmm. and I don't think anybody has that going for them at the moment. It's a bit early game for it. Yeah, I think we lost our chance. But the next time it pops up, we will take a look at it. So France, what are they up to? Well, I mean. They're just drilling away. That's a that's a troll a lol move if yeah, ever I've seen one. It's pretty intimidating that army. So now we do have a good strong France, and we have massively uh, strengthened Castile here. But I just wonder why France is growing Castile. Why why not even take like a, you know like like Rousselon? We used to have a saying: Rousselon will be a French province before the game is ended. Giuseppe is lagging behind. Yeah, that's a pope. Hmm. The Pope is lagging. He's, he's just a bit behind the times, really. Yeah, he's probably just getting used to his new Austrian overlord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, he grabbed Firenze, which is a great, uh, great province to be had around there. However, he... The Papal Conquest of Abruzzi. So he's decided to jump on this. Yeah, and well, it's probably... Fight, a... uh, fight Naples. That's a pro that is a Naples pretty power play Earth. move. And we don't know what's happening with his, with his internet because it's... Uh... What does the blue flame of the player names mean? It means they are in player wars. Yes. It means that we can separate Kaiser Johan's wars from everyone else's. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Rigier is at war now. I think he pieced out early from that other one. And yeah, well, no, think... He has to grow if yes, he wants he's... to stand a chance. Jeez, the Pope is getting way behind the times. Yes, should, the Pope uh... is holding us back here. Mm -hmm. Someone suggested it's because Katz is a bad player. France would rather have a worse player in Iberia than a good one. Oh, oh, oh. Now, that's a, that's no proof of that one. Rather a bad player I can trust than a uh, good player I... Why well, speed two? Uh, because uh, the Pope... The, the Pope can't handle this. It's kind of forward thinking. Yeah. So I'm just letting people know. Oh my, yeah, yeah. Uh, Giuseppe is constantly falling behind in uh, in time here. He's not even on Freedom Internet, at least oh. I don't think so. Somebody somebody poke him and tell him to... Uh, can I say he should be playing from the office. Can I yeah. say so. uninstall LimeWire, or is that not, uh, <laughs> is that not um, keeping in date anymore? Yeah, well, we can... Are we... Are we... <sighs> All right. Oh, no. Someone, someone needs to, uh, to poke. Oh. poke the guy. Oh, oh, oh. Unless he's dual wielding and he's like playing uh, playing Hearts of Iron on the other monitor. Oh, that would be hardcore. Uh, there we go. Yeah, got it here. Uh, let's find out what's going on. Yeah, because he's constantly uh, lagging behind here. EU4 mobile confirmed. Yeah. <laughs> And once upon a time, I used to play multiplayer on Oh, the Aragon board. is... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's just savage. That, that's that's not safe for work. Now, once upon a time, I used to play U4 multiplayer, and I'd, I'd have it tethered to my phone as well. Uh, connections weren't so good on the phone back then, but anything I could get. Is Guru going to be exiled to Tibet again? Kaiser Johan wants to know. <laughs> Download more RAM. Maybe one, of, maybe one of our players that's dropped out can run down if he's not responding and... Uh... Yeah. yeah. How far behind is the Pope? Uh, he's just constantly going slower. He needs to... He's about three days behind at the moment already. He needs to... Oh, even more. Oh, well, that's the Pope for you. He's yes. going too slow. Behind the times. Let's see what's going on in the rest of the world. So Morocco is trying to eat up the land over in Tlemcen, but the Kaiser Johan, he, oh God, he made short work of Ramazan there. Yeah. And next up is Karaman. He's also attacking Q... Is that AQ? Yeah. 
Well, Henrik, it's time to do your detective work and find out where mm -hmm. he is. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> so he's taking AQ there. Yeah, this is one of the problems with us growing, taking over too many floors. We don't know where everyone is now. Yes. Can we see so, what? Oh, we can see how the Pope is doing here, though. He's... Okay, working. there we go. Uh, yeah, I just got word back. said, killed all the processes. The Pope has <laughs> killed everything. <laughs> it did not help. He's been giving, uh, being given live IT support, but yes, he, live he, IT he's, uh, he's caught up now, though. Yes. So, uh, All right, so yeah, it appears to have... Well, he's a... Oh, no. no. Oh, he's working on it. Look at myself, how we convert to orthodox. <laughs> oh, CFP, what? Yeah, no, I think you'll find the proper role-play approach is you first form Prussia, then convert to orthodox. Mm. But we see Lithuania has willingly converted to orthodox and is converting uh, Lithuania proper. To the one true faith. Well, the current definition. Mm. There's other one true faiths yeah. are available. <laughs> yes. Normally it's Coptic that you see spreading around like a plague, but uh, no, not this time. Nope. You should have rules about allies. Uh, he's not running with like uh, the. Um... Is there an English decision to Scottish culture to English culture? What? I don't a know. new English decision to. Get, yes, sir. Get out of here. Help Austria become Shia, go somewhere in chat. Oh, he'll want everything to get that extra morale, I'm sure. Oh, the, the Mamluks have gone to war as well. What are they up to? Trying to unite Arabia at this uh, at this point? Well, no, it's just, it's going for an OPM there. Just mm. north of Ethiopia. Ah, yes, here we go, taking over the Bay. Yeah, well, well... I mean, it's not great land, but land is land, right? Well, this is it's also just... Um, it just makes up... A bit harder to conquer in one go. Yeah, but the Ottomans probably not too far away from their own missions to work their way to safeguard Anatolia, Mesopotamia. Where, where, where do we get the? Ah, here we go. Once they safeguard Anatolia, opens them up to Mesopotamia, Trebizond, and conquering the Levant, and that is what the Mamluks should be scared of. Yes. Because that, uh, and again, we yes, can highlight uh, Paradox the Paradox Interactive, 15 years are up. Where is our surprise? Well, we'll give Kaiser till the end of the session. We're so, generous people here. He, you know, We'll give him the full session, but he did say 15 years, but I thought that was ambitious. I thought that was in-game time. Yes. Not real time, but... <laughs> 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 it's like earlier when we put up the thread about this. We said the game would start in about 69 years. Or something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we cancelled our dev clash in 69 years in favour of doing it today. Whew. Yes, round of ideas. Yeah, round of ideas. I've got a few of them. I've got lots of ideas. Most of them are not repeatable. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps they're wondering about uh, ones that we have in game. For example, Frisian ideas. Yes, with uh, the 125 England update. Plenty of new ideas have been introduced here. Frisians, for example. The surprise, the revelation of Groovy, Groovy, beautiful move by Kaiser Johan. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Not on the guest Wi-Fi or something silly. Like, oh, it looks like things are relatively stable. Well, don't look at it. Don't yeah, don't look. Well, we'll do the Groovy don't look here. So, yes, quite, uh, quite a bunch of new ideas coming in. And if you ask for them, we might periodically show some off. Yes. Rönigen hype, they say. And I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. You meant to you meant to go uh, yeah. like you're disgusted as you would be if you were in Hernigan. So here we go. Well, not not bad. Ten development farmlands. Not quite as marshy as one would expect, but then yeah, you gotta go. Uh, where where does one go for the beautiful marshes? Over to Zeeland. Or over to Norfolk. Not not going back there in a hurry. No. My, never again. my, my road trip around East Anglia was <laughs> lessons learned. Yeah. Well. Oh, yeah, they're even complimenting us on pronunciation. This is a first around here. Uh, yeah, see, that you've, you've ruined the magic of the mm. stream now. People will not be coming back. They only come here for a poor pronunciation. Oh. <laughs> All right, so what's happening here? There's a lot of debt over in Russia. Uh, rebellion, or one rebellious uh, subject. Looks like he's integrated Belo Ozero. Yeah, well, that's probably a good move. He's... Mm. Yeah, chip down the number of subjects so the rest can't have quite so much to complain about. Uh, Yaroslav is probably the better one to integrate, given it's uh, better land, better development, and has a fort to help defend. Oh my god, you still can't pronounce Dutch names. Phew! Result! Okay. Yeah, feel, feel bad if that was going well. 
So, truce-wise, are they about ready to slap down on Novgorod? Novgorod is allied with Tver, who Muscovy should eat up. Muscovy should be eating up Tver like no tomorrow. It's such great land, and it's already in a uh, in a state of theirs. So, what's it going to be? The truce runs out soon. Oh, but sometimes war just meets you first. Muscovy. Muscovite conquest of Tula. They're fighting Griazan and Tver. Just and as if by magic. Mm hmm. I guess they did not make Tver a co-belligerent because they're not fighting Novgorod. And Novgorod would have gotten involved if that had been the case, but He's they're gonna... probably not scared of the aggressive expansion anyway. Well, I mean, there's only a finite number of AIs that can actually coalition them. Yeah, when we have uh, players packed in this solidly, it's yes. pretty rare to see coalition wars. Oh, don't know why, well, I, don't yeah. know why I zoomed in there. Something I don't know. Compelled me towards there. But what of Kazan? Kazan is breathing down Muscovy's neck here. But is Kazan even in a good position right now? They are tapped on manpower. Money is not too hot. What's oh, our, yeah, super What's tapped. our Horde unity like? Uh, horde unity is good because they've had lots of stuff to burn, but uh, unless they get more things to burn... I... Uh, oh, Great Horde has a good amount of allies, including the Uzbek, including Hissin Kaifa. What now, that, the... that is something else. So the, the Great Horde knew where to find a good, strong ally, and that is over with the Ayyubids. Are these still a thing? That's what, yes, yes oh. they are. Oh, things you learn. In addition, during the, uh, the Cradle of Civilization, his oh, yeah, final... Uh, the Star Man has suggested checking out his heir. Uh, we'll do that on our own accord. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to... We're not a performing monkey here. Okay, so Kazan actually in a bit of a tight sp space because the people they ally have made some good strong alliances. You fight the Great Horde, you fight quite a lot, you fight Nagai, you fight, you fight a ton, you fight Uzbek, good lord, <laughs> you don't make that mistake. So Kazan, really they have one particularly good well, Someone suggested they made that alliance with a 10% shock modifier. Ooh. The Chattagai. Mm, aid them in the Ming conquest oh. or the Ming uh, war for tribute. Are they going to help their good friend? Uh, they don't appear to be allied with uh, Chagatai anymore, so I would say no. Unfortunate. No, and notice their prestige just took a tanking there. So, Austria, I believe you wanted us to, uh, to learn about something. Oh, You're fighting please. the Swiss again. They must really like chocolate or skiing. Or the milk cow. But he wanted the... I haven't had that in a while. Oh. Oh, yeah. Basically, he said it's a bit like himself. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Why didn't he just name it after himself? Oh, he's married to Anna. Mm. Oh, there was a bit of office scandal. A bit of office, <laughs> office gossip for you there. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so still Charles sitting on the throne there. Uh, oh, a good... Uh, good solid uh, Lancaster there. Mm -hmm. So Obviously, uh, that's him. That's one way to get to Europe. Margar way Margarita de Valois yeah. as your consort. Well, mm. bit of a cradle robber she is. But, yes, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Why not? Ooh. laughs> Free thinking. She's yeah. a very open-minded lady. Yes. Hmm. Ah. Well, Scotland stands tall and proud, and they've integrated the Isles. Yes. Which means along their mission path, they have revoked the Isles. And next up, they could have the Bank of Scotland. They're gonna have to. It's actually my bank. Yes. Oh well, uh, went went with them. I think I switched banks to get fifty quid off them, then switched back. Good times. Uh, I still have my Bank of Scotland card on me. Mm -hmm. I, I went with Lloyd's Tablespoon myself. Oh, that's so. not good. So yeah, well, Scotland are going to need to save up quite a bit of dosh for this, but they're working on it. Good yeah, job there. Yeah, go cool, Scotland. And then there's the Ald Alliance. And unless France wants to ally with them, they're in a bit of a pickle there. Otherwise, they could subjugate France. Well, that's obviously <laughs> that's Plan another B. Way. Yes. <laughs> so, better watch out, Trin. The Scots are coming for you. Well, someone's pointed out that Scotland might be perfect for Groogie role playing in the next session. Oh. <laughs> well, they're going to get the Union. Okay, so the Danes have actually eaten up Holstein here, but they have not gunned down Dittmarschen. I don't think they're going to destroy the Peasant Republic in case, case Groogie wants them. Mm, no, well. Risky biscuits there. Yeah. Poland continuing to do nothing, which is a bit. Well, no, concerning. they're fighting rebels. Well. Everyone needs a hobby. Well. Badly. Oh boy. Now, um, one of our fans is asking, can can the, can we see the idea groups that players have picked? 
Oh, uh, that's a good point. We Which should... I think was actually the original request for idea groups. That ah, we... that, that would make sense. Yes. I first want to make sure there's no player wars going on that we have to particularly worry about, like, you know, the Pope taking over Naples. Oh, Aragon's not standing for this. Nope. Terce de Palermo. Oh, no, that's the army group. They're, they're led by Roderick. Hopefully the Union with Scotland happens the right way with England as a junior partner. That's a bit too historical for our tastes. No. Besides, they moved straight down to London there, so it's, it's not a good way to model it. Uh, right. What was our uh, ideas? Yes, yes I ideas. Was like, I was like, I swear I had an idea there. Clear no. ideas. Idea groups. This will tell us, mostly it'll tell us if people are going to be going uh, Are people actually to pick idea groups yet? Surely. No. Well, not the English, but, you know. Yeah, not the French, even. Not the Castilians. Oh, Portugal. Ah, the Portuguese. They've got exploration. exploration. No we... great surprises there. And off he goes. Yes, he's off. It's a whole new world out there, and he's going to be the one to find it. Meanwhile, he's still allied with Joloff, right? I mean, I can't begin to understand why, but... Uh, Just don't. It's the power play. Did Aragon get any ideas before he got flummoxed? Uh, in uh, uh, maybe defensive with hindsight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe explore, uh, exploration. Yes. Uh, the Moroccans, no. no. How about the Pope? Are they? They're not quite close to getting it either. That's a shame. Yes, the Pope. Well, oh, I worry for you, Pope man. That is an aggressive expansion sensation, but perhaps just the right amount to avoid getting uh, bodied. But he grabbed Napoli, which is a great province. On yeah. top of that, Abruzzi. Yeah, that's not a bad little gain there. Mm -hmm. So did he get any ideas out of that? I don't. Uh, doesn't look like uh, it. No clue. Oh, he took defensive though. Probably took defensive a good move ideas. there. I mean, if he if he can make a line here, yeah. And especially, I think Venice is is, um, is well, dropping out. Maybe so. Venice picked defensive. Let's see. Uh, no, <laughs> no, they did not. Uh, okay, so defensive for good old Pope man. How about Hungary? Administrative. Oh. It's generally what you want to take if you want to take a lot of land. But, I mean, has he taken a single province? Mm. I think he got Dalmatia from the yeah, Nations. Yeah, he took Dalmatia. 101 Dalmatias? Is yeah, that, that's that, about that it, really. Called? That's what I can see. I mean, he might have sneaked in another one somewhere else. No, I'm not seeing it. Did the Pope join the HRE? Probably not. I sincerely doubt it. And no, no. Too, too big to join the HRE at this point as too well. Too big to fail. They still hold Avignon. They don't yeah. seem to be willing to give it up to France, despite France having a uh, claim on the province. Okay. Uh, Austrian ideas. Starnan has not got a clue, at least not yet. He's close. He's getting there. How about Bohemia, Duplo? The Bohemians? Oh. No, not at all. Yeah, he's got offensive. Oh, oh, oh. I misread yeah. the situation entirely. Offensive ideas. Hmm. Well, how about, how about Brandenburg? Uh, well, <laughs> no. no. Never mind. Poland. Far from it. Are Poles here? Oh, Poles. No, nothing no. there. How about the Denskiewe? D uh, defensive, defensive. Uh, they might need it. And Swedes, the Swedes, no, no, no clue. Clueless. Swedes. Oh, quality. quality. That's quite Probably a play. Probably look back at his fight. And speaking of quality, he ate up to there. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Smells like chicken. Yes, he's so looking at it. Muscovy, despite everything this game has thrown at him, despite no fewer than five players fighting him. At he's the same out, time. At the same time, he's coming out strong. He's looking at it, yeah, definitely Mike here. I think he's been, he was taken under the Johan Hans wing, wing under last session, last, last series, and it's certainly... We made an error. The Pope the, did join the HRE. The Pope is in the Empire. There we go. Yes. It is part of the HRE. Who's For, forgive me, I have sinned. Who's attacking Naples now? Well, who is not attacking Naples? Savoy. Savoy is gunning for Man it. I think Savoy. Oh, they want to form Sardinia Piedmont. That is the cutest thing the AI could be doing. But however, Calgary is held by Genoa, so. Yeah, I just everyone wants a piece of poor Aragon right now. So we're going to have a fair few players that are going to be uh, Let's have a disassociated from there. We've still got some ideas to check out. I think Lithuania, yeah. Kazan, and. Oh. So Kazan, not a clue. Hold on, what was that ruler? Oh, I must have misread something. Um, no, nah, nothing. Well, he's free to take one. We just don't know what. Could be anything. The choice is yours. Uh, we checked the polls. They were clueless. The auto man, defensive, and boys, he chewing through it. And he got his core creation cost reduction early and on. Max and promoted cultures. And his oh. Discipline. Oh, I wonder if he's uh, promoted any new cultures. 
That's a good question. What are we looking at here? The Greeks and the Bulgarians. I think they start out promoted. Yes. I'm willing to believe that. Yeah, I will believe that. <laughs> Who would believe? Uh, let's not overlook the Mamluks. Ideas. They took quantity. Right. That's actually probably not a bad move. It's a pretty good move for them. And QQ, did we check them? QQ, they're free to choose. Defensive. But... Oh, at that very yes. moment. And they took the first one, and they're free to take the second. It's a difficult choice early on, because the early techs are massively impactful in how your war is going to go. But getting an early run on ideas is also very strong, so it's a... Uh, what happened to Ragusa? They grew. They grew and grew. They yeah. saw they saw that, well, Venice isn't taking this land anytime soon, so... I think basically everyone jumped on Serbia. The Ottomans did, the Venetians did, so Ragusa thought, why not? Yep. Uh, and our vast Serbian fan base can at least take rest by knowing you're still alive and you're still on the map. Still a thing. Yeah. And Venice is looking after your gold mine for you. Yeah, I mean, they are... Uh, so They're the trader nation. So, guys, are Johan at war? Uh, let's have a drink. Yeah. Georgia, Dulcadir, and Great... Oh, Great Horde. That's opportunity for Kazan, actually. Yes, that is maybe the opportunity Kazan has been waiting for. Ah. Yeah, Mac going... Mamluks have the green innovation beaker, someone said. Ah, uh, do they now? Let's check. Here we go. Can we... Yes. Ah, here we go. So, what we have is that they, they can invest in a new idea that nobody else in the world has. So, nobody else has taken a levy on mass idea. And if they were to take it, then they would boost their innovativeness by one. In the same way that if you are first to a technology, then you are going to boost your innovativeness by two. And here we go. It also grows by being a head of time. And when you have the innovativeness, uh, it goes all the way up to 100. <coughs> and if you, uh, it will scale up to there, giving you all power cost reduction, as well as navy and army tradition decay reduction. Is there a special theme for this MP? No. There are no rules. It's a free for all. Yes. Also, speaking of free, something you almost never see, Bar is on the map. Yeah, Bar was freed up um, by Burgundy before mm -hmm. the war with France. I did see Bar there. Yeah. And they get their uh, French. French Ducal ideas. Mm. Ducal, Duchal, Duchy, Ducoramest. I mean, I, I do not know. Nor do I particularly care. So this it's like the real MP game this time. Nice. <laughs> well, they were all pretty real, actually. Uh, it wasn't like we it was it wasn't like we were staging it, <laughs> I think. <laughs> mm. I don't know, drinking at this. We are at war. Fake. Uh Ar Aragon's at war as always. And both of our Johans are at war. Yes. However, sure. England is taking out many frustrations on the Irish, as is a long standing and proud tradition. Yes, well the Irish. I mean, <laughs> What have the Irish ever done for this world? What did they give us? Munster, the last vestige of defence for the a Irish. Pub. Now's your chance. Utmed Danskin. What? What the? What is the Kaiser up to? I don't know. I don't speak foreign. No, no, me neither. It's overrated. He could make a lot of states. He, he too could uh, invest in... He, He'd be the first to the next he could, he could be the workshop of the world. Yeah, and he's uh, storming ahead in innovativeness as well. So. Guinness, case, case closed. No, I'm thinking more of the glorious pub that Ireland has bequeathed the world. A pub so garish. Even Huggy Bear would be embarrassed to own one. I mean, really. <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? Hama went to... Fattle. Is Sweden free? People are asking. That's the question. Is Having being... been here for three years... No. Nah. 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 It's Sweden free. No. Nah. No, well, no. Nothing is free, mate. No. <laughs> Not even a free lunch around here. Okay, the Ottomans never feeling comfortable with fewer than three wars on at any one time is continuing to consume. The Karakiyunlu and the Mamluks doing nothing to contain this, and I'm sure they're going to regret that. Yes. I mean, the Ottomans' only friend here is Hungary. Yes, and they're not that hungry. No. But he's sitting there, yes, he, he's going into Georgia here. Devilish. Yes. Taking them down. It's good land as well. No more increased core creation costs around here, of course, and good old dyes to be had. Yeah. Dyes, silk, even some latent coal in the area. Oh my. Late game that could really spike some economy. If we look at the trade goods, if there's any nation with the striped blue on it, that means there is coal hiding there. Oh. And if there is enlightenment and either high development or high innovativeness, that coal will become the main trade good in the province. This is one of the changes along in Rule Britannia. 
and uh, it's a mighty trade good to have. Yeah, so that's um, is, is Sweden still in the PU though? That was a PU. Uh, they broke free and allied Denmark. So no, oh, so we have a Scandinavian hug box. Mm -hmm. So a Western European huggy box. I forget about Neon TD, but uh, Karsten is uh, certainly not Swedish, so he won't feel any particular disgust for doing this. No. He's. I hear he's more Iranian these days, or was it irradiated? I, I think he's. Um, he's Canadian these days. Oh, ooh, well, oh well. <laughs> Sweden and Denmark working together. Disgusting. <laughs> it is the Hungarian gold mine developed. The Hungarian gold mine. Oh, it, it should be. Well, it uh, is this one. Ah, there we go. The nine, yes, nine development. Yes, it yes. Is. yes. Sidestep was getting a few tips from the Kaiser. I watched the Kaiser give a bit of coaching there before mm -hmm. the before the stream. Yeah. So when it, so between these two, who do you think Hungary would back? Ottomans versus Austria. Ottomans certainly coming out stronger, a lot stronger than Austria. Now I'm back, <laughs> says. Now I'm back to turn Aragon around, says Boss. What? <laughs> what, was he, was he with UFK, mate? <laughs> well, he's got a lot of turning to do. Yeah, well, you turn if you want to. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that, that guy's just, he's probably going to be a bit comfortable over here. If I was Aragon at this point, I would just release and play as uh, Sardinia. That's actually a pretty solid move. Oh, can he do that yeah. while at war? Well, Sardinia, Sicily. Well, it's, 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 can he do that while at war? It's all the same. No, he has to end the war first, and it looks like uh, Sardinia is the lost cause here. When did the Poles get their tier one infantry model? How long ago was? Oh, that was a long time ago. Oh, so someone's suggesting that Kaiser Young is telling Sidestep, please develop up that gold mine so we want more when I conquer it. <laughs> That's a bit harsh on the Kaiser, I mean. Uh, apparently there's some places he does not want to conquer. Mm -hmm. Just try and negotiate a truce with your neighbours. I find three sessions to be the perfect number, says Kaiser oh. Oh. The worst deal ever made by the Drakus. Well, no, I think it was the best of the worst deals available to him. Mm. The alternative was trusting cats. Uh, I mean, I, I hate to be overly biased here, but this was a terrible decision by France. Uh, I mean, but I think Aragon also made a terrible decision. They should have ma allied up with Nutso Man. Mm -hmm. Because Nutso Man was doing pretty well until the Castilian yeah, forces if, came in. If there was some Aragon Aragonese mixed Blue in there. Blue flames there. Someone's going pew pew. Oh my, what's happening? Muscovy and Poland at it again. What's the name of the game here? It is the Danish conquest of Novgorod and the Lithuanian conquest of some place I've never heard of. Some Russian place. Uh, here we go. They are uh, straight in there. Good. Good solid move there from yeah, the Bjorn. So Muscovy once again having to fight on multiple fronts. However, Sweden this time not involved. Sweden is going new. Sweden so. now involved. In that. <laughs> yes, Sweden have uh, Sweden involved. Launched the Swedish conquest of some Russian place. Some other Russian place. Probably Russian. I mean, some Russian place that people maybe care about. I don't know. I sincerely doubt it. So Kazan war deck incoming goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're counting down the months. I'm sure it, it's in another January. year of a truce. In January next year. So the Lithuanians already on Muscovy. CRBR is lagging behind. Oh my, massively. Jinx, what is it with. Uh, what is it with that? With people. <laughs> oh, wait, it's a Teutonic Order allied to. The Teutonic Order was allied with Livonian Order, who was allied with uh, Muscovy. So I guess they were made a co belligerent. Russia's dog. That might not be the best of ideas. Who declared this war? Lithuania went for it, but that's quite a lot to fight. <laughs> Well, I'm sure they can overcome it. Well, definitely with Denmark in as well, and Kazan probably in the post. Mm -hmm. And Sweden, don't forget about yeah, Sweden. Looks like they sent some people packing already. Ottoman How... invasion of Poland, people say. Well, no, actually, Kaiser Johan is at peace. Mm -hmm. It's been known to happen. Yes, what is he up to? Is he still hatching his plans within plans? Mm. Cage the bear. I tell you, he, he's running out of time for his plans to reach fruition. Yes. He's only got half an hour left of our current uh, current session. I'm sure he'll let us know if he ever manages to get his great coup. Poland managed to get a clue. They offensive took ideas. Offensive. Apparently, Poland offensive. Mm. But getting overrun by the um, the Teutonic Order yeah, the Teutons. and Rega. There's actually a big Teutonic Order stat. Man, I want to see a Teutonic unit. They look there so we are cool. down there. They look so damn cool. Sitting there, doing God's work. Yeah. Trying to take this land back. He's going straight after Orthodox provinces. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Bit of RP there from AI. Well, I mean, he's surrounded by it. Since uh, Lithuania completely embraced Orthodox, he's got his work cut out for him. You know, just when they thought they were done around here, they go, oh no. Yeah, fresh work there, more not, souls to be saved. Not the Lithuanians again.